Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. And it is April the 25th today, uh, 2019. And I received the, <coughs> excuse me, I received the Zygu uh, G1M single sideband CW4 band transceiver this week. And I just want to do a very quick uh, intro uh, to you guys and just show you guys uh, the radio. Uh, I also want to show you some uh, some measurements on the meter here uh, for CW output as well. So just a quick look at the radio. Okay, right now I have it sitting on top of the G90. Okay, uh, there are connections on the back of the radio as well for your uh, CW key, uh, COM port, um, and things like that on the back. But basically, I just want to give you guys a quick introduction here. I, I'm hoping to get outside today and hook it up and make a contact with it on CW on 20 meters. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly through it uh, today. Uh, you guys can see it has a scope on it across here. Um, it defaults to that. However, you can, um, by pressing um, this key here, each of, each of these buttons has either a single or dual uh, purpose as well um, and kind of like the G90 uh, it's still a, a whip uh, which is a work in progress and there's a number of undocumented um, button pushes on the G90 that I hope to go through in the next uh, couple days for you guys to show you what they do and when the uh, function button is pushed and the orange LED light is on what they will do for you um, but basically I just wanted to take you guys and show you the uh, G90 uh, when you, you have the option, of course, of putting your call sign in, just like the G90 on the G1M, you can see it come up. Um, again, the band scope comes up. To go through your menus, you just push this button here, and it takes you through the rest of the uh, options. We can see that this is version 1.05, which was from April 6, 2019. All right, um, press any key to exit, and you can go through each of these. Uh, and they all have um, a, a feature on them. The last screen that you're on will remain in place and you can go through here. So uh, on the display I have an option here of the scope plus an S meter. Um, just a scope. I can put a big scope um, and of course back to scope and S meter. And once you have chosen uh, you hit save or if you just want to quit to get out of it you can uh, get out of it. Um, there's all kinds of other features here as well. You know, you can turn the beep on and off for the radio, uh, things like that. There's uh, side tone adjustments, um, things that you can do from inside. Um, as well, you know, we can um, toggle through here. Um, we can lock it. We can turn a preamp on um, as well. Um, we can go through here. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? If we want to go to... Okay, our, our steps, we can adjust our steps and go through. Okay, um, right now I am up in upper sideband mode on the radio. Um, so I would actually go to this mode button if I chose CW. I am into a dummy load here and if I transmit on CW, I have 5.39 watts out, if you guys can see that. Let's put this on hold here. So 5.45 when I put it on hold, well, 3.945. And that's on 20 meters. If I go to, uh, let's see here, I want to choose another band. So we can go down, it transmits on 40. Uh, 40 meters. We have 6.67 watts out into the dummy load. I go to 80 meters. Let's go to 36. 80 meters, I have 7.5 watts out on 80. And then we're going to go up to 15 meters. And it is a four band transceiver. We have 5.42 watts out on 15 meters. Uh, it does full coverage uh, general receive as well. 
So just a quick introduction guys to the G1M single sideband CW4 band transceiver from Zygu and uh, more videos to come. So thanks for watching. This is Fred VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft and Outdoors. 7-3 guys.